Okay, obviously we have a big game this week uh, with Mississippi State. Um, the last three times that I've personally coached against uh, these guys that went down to the last play. Um, you know, last season was no different. Uh, went down to the very end as far as that goes. Their offense, uh, they've got a dynamic offense. Uh, their quarterback, one of the better quarterbacks uh, in all college football. Uh, he's like a running back, uh, running the football. His accuracy uh, has been extremely impressive this year, especially when it's play actions. Uh, their offensive line's a physical group. They've got some experience. They're wide receivers. They're big and long, and they've made some one-on-one -on -one plays uh, this year. Their defense, looking back to last year, uh, one of the better defenses that we played, I felt like, uh, all the last year. They got nine starters back. Uh, they're a veteran group. They, they tackle uh, well. They're very <coughs> physical. So we got our work cut out for us in, in that area. Obviously, the atmosphere uh, is going to be uh, a very good atmosphere. We're really hoping that our experience this year uh, going to Kansas State will help our group. Uh, last year, we were fortunate to play in a lot of big games. We have a lot of experience back and, uh, you know, dealing with the noise and everything that goes with playing on the road in a big game. Can you talk about the progression that both Dak and Nick have made compared to this time a year ago? Well, I know, I know for, for Nick personally, I mean, he was still learning the offense when we played him last year. And, uh, you know, it was a little bit ugly on the offensive side. Now their defense had something to do with that. But, uh, you know, Nick personally is a lot years ahead of where he's at. And then, of course, you look at, at their quarterback. I mean, he's, uh, he's very impressive when you, uh, when you break him down. How much of last season's performance against Mississippi State was – them and how much of it was that you guys had not yet quite identified your strengths and started utilizing the zone read as much as you were? Well, we were still trying to figure out who we were. Uh, we were still trying to figure out our quarterback's uh, strengths. And, uh, you know, they were very good on defense. They had a lot to do with it. Uh, we were fortunate to, to find a way to win. But, the, you know, looking back to last year, that was really a big game for us uh, in our season for the fact we hadn't won an SEC game in a whole, you know, in a really long time. And for us to win that game the way we did it, coming back at the very end, you really gave us momentum, you know, after that. How's that defensive line of theirs stack up to others you faced in your first year and a half here? Well, like I said earlier, you know, last year I felt like it was one of the better defensive groups that we played the entire season. And they got nine of those guys back, so that says a lot. Yes, that last drive, how important was it just to build the confidence in quarterback and just a couple games in the season. How, how big was that when you look at it in hindsight? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, we, we didn't play very well. Uh, it was pretty ugly offensively up to that point. And the game was on the line. And, uh, you know, Nick, that's when we first saw that, you know, he's really special with the game on the line. And, you know, he's answered the bell, you know, every time that uh, the game's been close. And uh, he's got that special knack, and that was really the first time we saw it. Gus, when you play a really big game like this, is it, does it change preparation at all, or how do you kind of not get your players too ready? To yeah, well, I think the best thing for us from a player standpoint and a coach's standpoint is we've been in some extremely big games that have been very important. Uh, it's not going to be a shock to our system. Um, you know, we're going to prepare that it's the next game, and obviously it's a big game. We know that. But at this point, uh, you know, in our season uh, in the West, I mean, they're all big. And uh, so we're just going to go about it one game at a time, just like we've done the last year and a half. And uh, we're playing a very good team on the road. And like I said earlier, I mean, last three times that I've coached against these guys, it went down the last play. And uh, so it, it, we're going to play well. What specifically on defense did they do or did they do last year that really kind of caused you to have trouble with what you want to do? Well, they're, they're very good in their front seven. I mean, they're, they're big guys. Um, they're explosive guys. They all they all can tackle. On the back end, uh, they've got experience. Um, they're just good at what they do. What did you see in the A and M film? Of what they were able to do in Kenny Hill? That he had thrown just two interceptions going into the game. He threw three apparently against them. So what did they do? Maybe well, well, they mixed some things up. They disguised some of the coverages. They got pressure on him. Um, they did a good job of disguising some things. And they got after him. How big was it for the passing game to get Sammy on track? 
Well, it was really big for us not only to get Sammy on track, but early in the game uh, to hit a, a deep shot down the field. It just kind of opened everything else up. And, and you know, now that Sammy's getting healthier, you know, that's a, that's a that's a really good thing for us moving forward. You guys use Cameron Artis Payne a little bit more too. Is that just kind of trying to use his skill set? He's got good hands. Well, I mean, he, he's he's starting to establish himself as a guy that we can get the ball to a lot. And uh, you know, he was he was fresh in the second half and. We already knew even from last year that, you know, as the game gets going on, he actually gets stronger. A lot of people talk about confidence on offense. How have you seen the confidence grow from, from your defensive guys this year? From our defensive guys? Yeah, our defense, defense has played outstanding, and we played some pretty good offenses. And You know, it, it's second year in the system. Um, you know, our, our front is a very physical front. They've done a great job against the run, and our back end, has done a good job. Even though we got a lot of inexperienced guys, we've got two freshmen running around back there. Um, I've been very pleased with, with the way that those guys have played. Gus, it seems like you know, for a long time the, the kind of master was if you, if you ran a hurry up offense, you couldn't play good defense. But Ole Miss does their play good defense. Mississippi State does their play good defense. You guys play good defense. Has, have you seen it kind of evolve? The, the, Teach to do that or play a better defense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, like I've said before, I just that, that's where the game's going, uh, spreading people out, playing fast. But if you can effectively run the football, you know, you're going to go against your defense in the spring, and they've got to stop the run. And so, uh, you know, I think that's what's happening. Yes, it seemed like there, were, especially on early down, there was more of a focus on passing. Was that was that something just to kind of open up and then take advantage? Well, you, you know, especially early in the game, we hadn't been getting off to good starts and all that, and we just tried to uh, to do some things to help our momentum, uh, to get some first downs, and uh, you know, now that you know Sammy's getting healthier, I mean, that that that's a definite plus. How much of it is also kind of putting some confidence in Nick to make the plays uh, both vertically and obviously. Yeah, the well, <laughs> we're, we're very confident in Nick to run our entire offense. Uh, throwing the ball, running the ball, zone read, and everything. How do you simulate? Progress as an offensive coordinator from last year to this year. What do you see from him um, in his progress? Right last year. Yeah, I mean he's uh, like I said. I thought he was one of the best in the business last year, and you know I felt that way for a long time. Uh, he's very good at what he does, and uh, you know I feel the same way this year. Is there more responsibility this year? Uh, you, you know, the, in some areas there is. Uh, there, in some areas there is. How do you simulate the cowbells in practice? Can you even really do that? Or? Well, you know, you, you pump in crowd noise and, you know, everything that goes with that. So you just do the best you can. You got any on cowbell recordings? We may. <laughs> <laughs> Preston Smith is one of the better.